Oh, he's getting it now. Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Customs. Today, we're out here working on the 78 Dodge Warlock. And what we're going to attempt to do is install a rear window. Now this window, from what I understand, goes in from the inside. We already have a weather stripping up in here. Got it pushed in there real well. Now the tools you're going to need for this, of course, suction cups. We have them on the window. You're going to need one of these ball hook tools. And we'll show you what that's for. That's for pulling the weather stripping around the window. And I got one of these little plastic cheater sticks. And some lube to keep it lubed up. The videos that I watch, they use this glass and chrome cleaner uh, that foams up. So that's what we're going to use. Now guys, let me tell you, I am not a professional window installer. I can put a window in a door, a vent window, you know, stuff like that. I've never done a front windshield or a rear windshield. So this is a first for us because Casey's never done one neither. And here's the other thing. On um, these old Dodge trucks, there's not a video on the internet on how to install a rear window. There's one on every other piece of weather stripping and glass in this truck, but nothing on the rear. So we're going to attempt this. Keep your fingers crossed that it turns out good. We don't break this window. Because if we do, well, we got to pay for it. We don't want to do that. But let us get geared up here, and uh, we're going to give us a try. All right, guys, we're going to give us a shot. Now, should we uh, take the phone stuff and put it down in here? Your call. I'm holding the window. I know, and i got a messed up wrist, so. Oh, would you like to hold the window? No. Keep on coming. Hold right there. Hold right there. Am I almost the window expert? Almost. It just didn't go really easy. In my head it was going to work that way, but in real life I just didn't know. You need to go that way. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, a lot. Way. Hold on a minute. Uh, you need to come down. Okay, this won't come down until it goes over. So, so hold on. The trick to using this right here: don't touch the glass with it. All right, hold both sides so this thing don't do some weird flexy crap on us. needs to go. Yeah, about that. <laughs> oh yeah, it needs to go that way a lot. Let's see if we can both keep it push but go that way. <coughs> It moved a little bit. Well, I think that's about it. Hold on. This right here doesn't want to come out right. Let me 
Looking out the window. Yeah. Now I see what the problem is. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This corner right here is really trying to be a pain. I'm going to say cursed words. All right, everything needs to come down now. Look at you go. Perfect hole. The window itself, the track is trying to groove. Looking okay. I may have come from that side and run this yeah, way to make it all come in. Glare off that door is killing my vision. <laughs> Give me a little bit of squirt on this. Guys, we picked these up off eBay for twelve dollars a piece. Well, well worth it. We got a ton of use out of them. Okay. All right, looking good. Yep. Alright. If you need to, you can come on this side and come on across. Now I'm going to get across a little more, and then I'll come over there and try to get around and see where I'm at. Now it's starting to get really. Spray some more stuff. I don't know if it's super difficult or if my arm's getting tired. Up or hose it on, I don't care. Like the window needs to come this way some once we get it in there. Oh yeah, that's much better doing it from this side. Somewhere again. Yeah, when they come this way, it may be up a shade. See a gap right there. We got some stuff that's just not fitting so great, don't we? There's everybody. Well, guys, it looked like we got lucky on that one. I'm not sure if that's the proper way to do it, but it worked very well for us. This tool, I was complaining a little bit. What I pay for this thing, like 25 bucks or something? I thought it was a little higher because I was so cheap. But it really works well. Now, this thing does not supposed to have a locking ring in it, even though there is a lip on the outer side. It's one of them things... 
it is what it is. And everyone, there you have it. That's a good basic install of how to put in a rear window in one of these. I reckon that's the way it works because it worked for us and we didn't break the glass. Now we have to clean this. This got some kind of funk all over it. Show you a cool trick. Stink bug. Get rid of the stink bug. Four rock steel wool. Oxygen orange. Do it, man. Go put it on the spray. There you go. Just hold the old window down if you want. There you have it guys. That is a good looking window. In case you got it really cleaned up there. So four out steel wool would clean a lot of things that you wouldn't think. You think steel wool is going to scratch. That four out so fine. Use a good cleaner with it. And then chase it like with a glass cleaner like Casey just did. And this is the original window. So that looks pretty good for a window this old. Yeah, not too shabby whatsoever. He's just going to go around now and get all the extra cleaner out of the grooves. Well, guys, that'll do it for this one. Uh, yeah, I know, it was a short video. But then again, that was an easy install. And that's the first one we've ever put in. I'm tickled to death. We didn't break it, and it went very well. Hopefully, the front windshield will go just as easy. I doubt it. But it's exactly the same principle, except it goes in from the outside and use the same tool to get it all in there. But, as soon as it gets us a windshield, we're going to give it a try too, and we'll get it on video. Well, everyone, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you learned a little something. I know we did. That's pretty cool. If you would, throw us down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit that super thanks below. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Till the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.